Hi everybody. Here I am going to show you how to design a beam. If we consider that for architectural reason, beam dimensions are given. Say it is 450 by 700. We can see the section here and the strength of the concrete and steel are 30 MPa and for steel 400 MPa. In addition to the self weight of beams, it carries a specified dead load, say 8 kN per meter and a specified live loads, say 14 kN per meter and beam span is 8 meters. So first we will compute the area of reinforcement which required at the mid span and also we will check this mid span section moment resistance as well we will see steel yielding is it failed by steel yielding I mean is it in ductile failure that's what we are going to check also. So first we will compute the factored moment MF. So what is needed first? We need to find the unit weight of reinforced concrete. It is 24. Beam dimension already I discussed. So I have to find this beam weight per meter. It is 7.56 kN per meter. Actually I have used this Excel cell reference I used the cell address I used to find this. Then I need to find factored loads. So how to get that factored loads? I have to use this equation. This factor dead load factor 1.25, live load factor 1.5. So using all this I found factored load it is 40.45 kN per meter. If you look at you will see here I have taken say this dead load means this 8 plus these dead loads because this self weight multiplied by 1.25 and this live load multiplied by 1.5 so we got this now factored bending moment is very easy formula I mean WL square by 8 because it is simply supported this beam rest on a pin and roller supports so very easily we can find it this moment now question is about still finding the reinforcement we have to compute the effective depth so in this case we have to know if we consider one layer of steel why one layer of steel because this beam is 450 so this beam is quite wide so we can assume that we will use one layer of steel so what i calculated here b equal to h minus 55 i am using this 55 but if you calculate you can do that like d equal to h minus cover either 30 40 whatever you want and link dia this is stirrups minus of bar dia by 2 you will get very close to this so i am considering h minus 55 so i got this here i wrote dia of steel say 25 i am not sure yet about the dia because once i find the dia area of the steel maybe this dia will be changed but here i am assuming 25 now our target to find the compute the area of the reinforcements. So what is needed first? We have to find the this one. This depth of this 
equivalent rectangular stress block. This rectangular stress block of concrete, we are considering this depth is A. So this A, first we are assuming it, say it is 0.3 of this D. So in that case, we will find like this because I calculated using Excel this way. So it is coming exactly what Excel calculates. So 193.50 is the A. It means this depth. Now I need to find JD. How to get JD? D minus A by 2. Surely it comes like this. JD. Why I got this JD? Because if we look at this equation, A is equal to MF by phi S FY JD, so surely I need JD. So using all this value, you can see that I used all this cell address and I calculated it as 1736 millimeter square. Now, this 1736, I considered or I assumed four numbers 25 bar, it will be equal to 2000. So as per this reinforcement, I want to be sure with, is it greater than or less than AS minimum? It is very, very important. Because if it less than AS minimum, then we must go for the AS value. But using the formula after calculation, I got AS minimum only 862. So it is very, very less. So our AS is greater. I put double greater because 2000, it is 800 only. So AS greater than AS minimum, so we will be stick with this one. Now, our target is to check, compute A and check FS equal to FY. That is very, very important because FS equal to FY failure is initiated by tension still yielding or not. That is most important. So in this regard, what do you need to do? We have to check A by D. What is A by D? You can see here this A divided by this D, effective depth of the beam. If this ratio less than 0 0.5, surely we can say that it still has yielded and failure is ductile. So what do you do? A by D already a we know already we calculated here and D already we got here. So we found 0 0.16. It is less than 0 0.5. That is why I have written here failure is ductile. Now our next task is to check the moment resistance that is very very important because if this moment resistance greater or less than mf mf means what we got from the factor bending moments this moment factor bending moment because beam has to carry this moment but if it has capacity more than that, so we are perfect. That is why we need to check the moment resistance of the section. It is very important. So what formula we are using? This is the formula we have. Phi S, A S, F Y, D minus A by 2. We know D minus A by 2 means JD. So it is very easy formula. And we use it. So MR I got 403.79. So what I can say? I wrote here greater than MF because our MF is 324. I am near about 400. So our beam can carry more than what 
impacted or work factored load coming on the beam, beam can carry more than that. So we are safe. That is very, very important things. And here I want to mention, I forgot this alpha 1. Actually, I have used that alpha 1 equal to 0 0.82. There is a equations to find this alpha 1, beta 1. We can find it and we can put this value for finding the equivalent rectangular stress block depth. So here I have shown already as I took 425 bars, so it is perfect. So 425 bars. So our design is finished. I think that's enough for this simple beam and thanks.